long time no see. Um, just got out of my fucking hibernation, it seems like. And I am now using a tripod holder. All right, this shit is fucking heavy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting a fucking arm workout here. Um, I'm gonna have to hold it with two fucking hands, like a, like this. Okay, so, again, long time no see. It has been a little while. Fix this fucking thing. I'm now holding my tripod um, fucking stick here. Yeah, it's been a cool minute. I don't know where the fuck to look, but this or at the camera. Right, I'm gonna look here. So yeah, it has been a little while since you guys have seen me, I guess. Um, a couple months, and I'm ready to get back into YouTube. And this is gonna be me just, I guess just filming whatever, showing you guys a little bit about my life, what I'm up to, and hopefully a bigger transition to more so YouTube. That's the plan. Um, less other shit, but got my tripod set up and I am just having a cup of coffee at the moment. I'm getting used to holding it like this. I, I'm not used to holding a stick when I walk around. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get back into it. Show you guys a little bit of my day, my workouts, what I eat. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. You know, it's springtime. It's sundress season time. So, you know, that's always the best. Drinking black coffee here. And um, getting an arm workout at the same time. So I'll just hold this with two hands. It's going to be a little experimental, but I hope you guys will enjoy it nonetheless. All right, so this is a lot fucking better than holding that, um, the fucking 10 pound camera. Let's see if we could. All right, so, so yeah, now this is a bit better. It's interesting. Um, that's really fucking heavy to hold. It feels like it's about 10 pounds with, like I'm holding a 10 pound, um, I don't even want to say it. It's just like I'm gripping it sometimes with two hands, you know. But yeah, it's a little bit heavy, but fuck it, forearms are, you know, I don't know why I'm flexing, got no pump. Already big enough. It's a long time no see, guys. Um, yeah, I'm coming back to YouTube. I am excited to come back to YouTube. I don't know if you guys are, but the people that have been supporting me, following me, you guys probably are. And, uh, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my day, um, the workouts, my meals, uh, announcements, the shit I don't do, the shit I do, which isn't much of anything. Uh, but I'm going to show you it. You know, I'm going to, we're going to get back into this. You know, I think it's time. Um, I am all fucking TikToked out. I don't, I'm fucking tired of it. Okay. I, I've been doing it for probably almost four fucking years now, it's three years, and it's 2024, so I think it's time to make the transition to YouTube, and you guys get a better idea of my thought processes, personality, training, nutrition, or you just want to hear me fucking talk, um, that's what this will be good for as well. And as you're noticing, if you haven't heard, you probably see the Young LA, uh, yes, I am back with Young LA, I joined them about rejoined them about two months ago and uh some of you well most of you probably know this i was with young la in 2021 it was the first ever company i was sponsored by been with ever in my life and i was with them for about a year back when they only had 176k on instagram so like og young la way before you ever seen it on any ad or even seen anybody wearing the clothes so um, yeah, I've rejoined Young LA and honestly, super happy. Like I am, now my fucking dad's gonna get here and the dog's gonna fucking bark. So give me one moment. Wanted to say um, I'm super appreciative for it. Um, basically to sum it up, um, 2023 and to beginning of 2024, 
there wasn't really a lot of positivity going on in my life. Like I was making adjustments and improvements, um, not so much on camera, but off camera things that, you know, you guys couldn't see. And, um, it was just really rough. There was really nothing positive, you know, coming out of it. Like I was still putting the work in, I wasn't giving up and I was just like, fuck dude, nothing's going right. Um, I'm going to put in the work in, you know, I'm making these adjustments and seemed like things just kept failing for me, failing, failing in the start of this year. Again, really slow, not a lot of progress. And then, um, I reached out to Gary, the owner, and I was like, Hey, um, I love to be interested to join. Um, you know, I'm interested like, Hey, it's been a while, but I'm ready to get back into it and, and rejoin the brand and no beef with anybody or anything. And, uh, he was like, you know, I'll get back to you. And, you know, couple weeks go by. I didn't really think much of it. I thought, you know, I'm not going to be signed. Like it it was just a shot in the dark. Like, let's see, let's see what happens. You know, like I I had a little bit of like doubt. I was doubting it. I'm like, ah, probably not, but it was worth a shot. And then out of nowhere, just, yeah, let's, let's get you on. Let's, let's see how it goes. And that was like probably the first real positive thing that happened to me this year. Like that made me happy. I was like, wow finally a break you know like finally because I was without a clothing sponsor for a while um and I wanted one you know and Young LA was really the only option rejoining them I couldn't really think of any other brand you know and I was just like man like it it started the year it it was like the year started slow but that it like uplifted me I was like man I'm I haven't felt this good in a while you know so yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there really quick. Super appreciative uh, to be back with Young LA and uh, the second chapter. You know, and I guess uh, this is the start of it right here with this video with you guys. So, yeah, um, I'm extremely grateful. And um, the first chapter was really fun. I know you guys remember 2021, 2022 is wild, but it was really fun. And um, I want to bring those those fun vibes again. Less of a wild of the fun so yeah and for the moment um i've been cutting down i've been dieting and i got a drop from 254 in about two and a half weeks to about my leanest fast it was 237 i'm probably around now back up 241 242 fast i didn't weigh myself but i've been going a lower carb approach and i'm going to show you guys a little bit of what i've been eating and I've been, um, I guess, uh, carb cycling. So not full low carb, but most of my meals is just meat, uh, like carne asada beef, which I've been going crazy over. I love eating it. Maybe a little bit of vegetables, fruit. Um, and then I have, you know, of course my dextrose, my intra workout um, during my workout. So I get some of that uh, glucose to help with the muscles. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys a little bit about what I'm eating. And, uh, the goal here for me is just to get as lean as I possibly can. It's just this whole year. I want to get as lean as I can. The goal is going to be 225, 232 in terms of my weight. So, um, yeah, we will see so far. I'm two weeks in, I'm on the right track and, um, digging the results. And in terms of my training, um, it hasn't really changed too much, um, especially doing the lower carb. I find I still have enough strength and endurance, um, but less strength training. Like I'm not lifting as heavy as I was since I'm not really as strong as I was. Um, But training has been really enjoyable. It's been really fun. I'm getting locked into that just focusing mainly on my back, uh, my chest, my legs, my shoulders, just everything, but mainly putting my back as a priority. Back into YouTube. I'm honestly, guys, I'm just super excited. I know I'm I'm going on and on, but I'm very excited to be back um, filming, you know? Um, I'm just tired of TikTok. Like I'm still gonna post here and there, but I feel like I'm rotting my fucking brain using it. Uh, I feel like I'd be a little, a lot more productive without it. 
I'm still gonna have it list here and there, but I think it's it'll be better to get a connection on here for you guys. You know, it's YouTube is something I've struggled in, so let's see. You know, it's time for me to to make it happen, and con consistency is what matters. So, um, yeah, I'm 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 excited to be back with the filming. Um, I guess now I will show you guys what I'm going to eat. So I'm going to go to the Mexican market and I'm going to go buy my food. So I'll be back and I'll show you guys what I will be eating. So let me get this out of here. I, so I can't see. So this is what I'm making. Lately, it's just been carne asada. That's the meat of choice. I have that daily. Um, it's just a leaner steak. I just buy it at the you know Mexican market that's close by. Put it in the pan. Honestly, it cooks like in 30 seconds to a minute. Just keep flipping it. Um, get like a medium rare. Uh, medium rare. Whoa. Medium rare kind of cook. So it's a little bit tender. I find that it's softer and not as chewy versus like a full... Um, well done. So, yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like. And I've been eating um, a lot of fruit with it as well. Fruit in general has been a big staple lately. So, a big change compared to how I used to eat. All right, so carne asada is finished. It comes out something a little bit like, I don't know if you can see that. like like that you know I've got some tapatio probably have some pineapple and some sparkling water with it all right so yeah got my carne asada here I think it's flank steak it's like a leaner type of steak with some tapatio and um, some uh, lemon yeah it's really good with lime too. Mm. And the sparkling water. They taste like soda. I find them better to be diet better than diet soda. So I've been utilizing a lot more sparkling water as of late. A little on the chewy end today, but nonetheless. Pretty good. Probably cooked it a little bit too long. Just a tad bit. Cooked really fast. So, um, yeah, I've been intermittent fasting a bit lately. Um, throwing that in as well to help with the cut and just overall reduce food cravings. Um, but yeah. Throwing intermittent fasting in has helped a lot. Oh yeah, I tried like ground beef. I tried getting into that. I absolutely hate the taste of ground beef personally. <laughs> Some meals it is good, but by itself, it's terrible. So I much prefer the carne asada since it's already seasoned. Just put it on you know, the stove for 30 seconds to a minute. It's already good to go, okay? So I'm eating this daily for the most part. Probably two times a day. I tend to have two meals a day. And that seems to do the trick for me with intermittent fasting. I'm eating a little bit earlier than usual. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Still, still nonetheless, it's, I like the carne asada a lot more. I don't know why more, more, uh, more bodybuilders don't do carne asada. It's like chicken or ground beef. I'm not big on chicken either, so it's like... I don't understand like why no one does carne asada. It's a leaner meat too. So, I mean, it's pretty good. If you cook it right, you get it nice and tender. It's not fucking not as chewy. You could eat a boatload of fruit. You could binge eat on fruit. It's never going to be as bad as binge eating on fast food or binge eating like snacks, like healthy snacks, which aren't that healthy. 
Like you can eat a boatload of watermelon. A whole watermelon, I don't know, it's, I think it's like 100 calories, maybe even less, so. I think fruit, and I'm someone I like to snack and I get cravings. I Sometimes I do have a big appetite even though I only eat two meals a day. So the fruit helps me with my snacking, um, especially before the gym, even though it's fructose, which isn't the most effective in terms of helping you in like with your muscles in the gym, restoring glycogen. That's what the dextrose is for. It's better at doing that, you know, glucose versus fructose. Um, but nonetheless, I still really like fruit. It's just, it's tasty, it's sweet. You know, I don't understand why you wouldn't eat it, you know? So fruit is pretty much majority of my carbs. So yeah, if um, binging is an issue for you, which sometimes it can be for me, um, I find that fruit is really effective at um, stopping that, like helping you know work through, work around that. Um, I know for me, I can do really well, and then one night I'll just I'll have a slip up, and I'll be like, fuck it. Let's keep it going. We already we're already a thousand calories above where we should be, or we already ate some junk food. Let's eat a lot more. Um, and I find, or you know, with snacks like a Cliff Bar, eating like two a day, or you know what I mean, um, or peanut butter. I would end up eating a whole jar, a whole thing of protein peanut butter, which is a lot of calories, really dense. I find that fruit is a good way because there's a lot of fiber in it, so. Eating a lot of fruit, eventually, you know, your stomach's gonna hurt or it's gonna be full, you know, satiated, so you won't need to eat as much. And um, again, you could eat so much fucking fruit. You could eat a boatload of it. It's gonna be significantly less calories than anything else besides like vegetables. But no one's really binging on vegetables unless you got some fucking issues. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I know I keep saying it. I'm proud to be back. Um, bear with me though. I'm I'm gonna be a little bit fresh. Um, getting used to this consistently. Get up here. I've never even set up my camera like this ever in my life. So it's all really new to me. Um, I'm doing this for three years, and I still am learning new things and transitioning. Two different forms of content so um yeah other than that that's about it i'm gonna meet up with my buddy elijah in about an hour and a half and we're gonna get a little bit of a back day going or something i mean i usually work out in the evenings but of course you know he gets me in a bus moment i'll just work out at one uh, who the fuck works out at one i i don't know anyone that works out at one if you work out at one what are you doing with your life? Like that, that kind of people that work out at 1 PM kind of piss me off. I don't know. I like to work out later in the day, but I'll work out at one or two. We're going to do two. That's a bit better. I usually like to work out around five or six. Um, that's again, when I get a good amount of calories in me, prepare for the day, get stuff done, whatever. Um, but yeah, um, Looks like today is probably going to be a two a day because this lift is probably not going to be the greatest, but it doesn't matter. Other than that, that's about it, really. Um, um, my birthday was not too long ago. I'm 24 now. I'm old. I, I'm getting old. I know I am no longer 21 or 22. People still think that. They they still think I'm 21 or 22. It's like, how the fuck can someone be 22 for uh, two years or three years? Um, yeah, 24, I'm, I'm turning into an old man. I'm getting some grays in my beard. But yeah, the content's gonna be a bit different. You know, it's gonna be different from TikTok. It's gonna be different from my past YouTube videos. It's gonna be, um, whole new thing, so, yeah. Alright, what's up, Elijah? You're gonna be a part of my vlog, don't get nervous. This is Elijah, guys. 
He's been in a few of my videos before. Teaching Dawson how to use his G Master lens. I didn't even know I had a fucking G Master. I didn't even know what the fuck that was. He doesn't was. know he has a badass lens. Yeah. So we're he gonna. He also has been changing his shutter speed to adjust brightness. Yeah, because I'm a cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bodybuilder, not a cameraman. So we are going to now record some workouts. Yep, we're going to be doing pull ups and shit. Yes. Alright. Why are you working out so early today? Just you? <laughs> if you ask me. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get into some pull-ups. 1 p.m. back workout. I'm running off of carne asada, a few pieces of pineapple, strawberry, and dextrose. Nice. How's that? Good. Some good sights, I can't, I cannot lie. <laughs> a lot of good like machines and stuff. Just machines? Yeah. I hit some biceps that I did like 15 sets of biceps to like forms and biceps are cooked. Fuck. It's going crazy. Bicep and side delt day. Weird combo, huh? Some shit only you would do. It's your board. You gotta do what you gotta do. How many fucking pull-ups can you do? So we'll see. How much do you think I can do? Seven. Seven? I'll do definitely seven. Three and a half. Three and a half pull-ups. <laughs> Put your dick away. And then, uh, over here in this corner, it's gonna be all like the ab workouts. My legs look good. They actually do right here. <laughs> I'm praying my my Johnson doesn't pop out my shorts. That'd be a good cool thumbnail. My cock. My cock. I have one at home. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Makes a lot of noise. Staring at me the entire time.
What do you gotta say to the vlog? Mm -hmm. oh, no. It's getting hot here. Let's say that. Doing some uh, inclined dumbbell rows. For the upper back, a little upper outer. Good exercise. Hard to do though. You haven't done them in a while. Which I have not done in a while. Thinking about the number seven right now? No. That's my lucky number seven. What are you gonna cry? You find what you're looking for? Huh? You find what you were looking for? What does that mean? Shiny. Getting there. Yeah, we'll see.
decent. Wow. Got a lot of work to do here. Gotta keep, continue to cut. Two weeks into it, I'm down 254, about two and a half weeks to 237, 240 fasted around there. I pretty much stay around the 237 to 242. Friday and Saturday, I went from 239 to 250 in two days. Because I had a lot of cheat meals, like junk food, and then I went from 250 to 239 in one day. All the water and glycogen just gone. So. It's nuts. Yeah, I feel good though. But I'm not satisfied. I'm never satisfied. What else should we do? I'm about done with this one. Fuck it. Size doesn't matter, that's why I'm small right now. <laughs> Your arms look crazy right here, dude. Day by day, carving it like granite or marble. I don't know if you carve granite. <laughs> I think marble, not granite. But eventually, this will look like a sculpture. Two weeks into it, so eventually. But right now you look like an action figure. This will all get leaner.
that's it for the gym vlog. Just a little back day with Elijah. I wouldn't be able to film this workout if he wasn't here today. So, first video back in three months. I think it was good. 7DW. Wonder who that's. Uh, <laughs> wonder where that number comes from. <laughs> Just got done with my second workout of the day. So today I did um, two workouts. I did one earlier that you seen with Elijah, and then I also did a um, another one about two hours after that. Um, I did hamstrings and calves. Um, right after that back workout, I went and grabbed Chipotle, um, just steak, white rice, pico, green sauce, Chipotle sauce, hot sauce. That was it. Then I had uh, just ate that. Had a little like a half a protein shake, 30 grams of protein, rested, took a shower, and went back to the gym. Um, so I went back and did some hamstrings and calves with some dextrose, 30 gra uh, 20 grams, and I felt like I couldn't really get a good contraction. I never usually do um, two a days. But I had a lot of energy, so I was like, why not, you know? And um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really feel as strong. The pump didn't feel as good um, as it normally does, but, um, Nonetheless, I'm glad I tried it out. I probably won't do it again, the two a days, um, especially since I'm, you know, trying to go lower carb throughout most of the week. I feel like it just zapped me a little bit, and I needed more carbs to adjust, which is makes me eating, which is me having to eat more carbs than I normally do. Um, for dinner, I had carne asada again that I showed you guys earlier. And I had some uh, yellow rice. I tried that out. It was pretty good. But um, I'm still like kind of tweaking my diet. Like I'm not like super like hardcore set on just all right, low carbs, high fat, high protein, or oh, like I, I'm trying things out, seeing what works for me. And I do prefer just having mainly meat and vegetables with a little bit of fruit um, when I'm not working out. And then I like to time my carbs pre, intra, and post-workout. So it's like a targeted, um, low-carb approach. So I'm not necessarily low-carb, just lower-carb than um, what, I, what I'm usually doing. And I've still seen results, like benefits from doing so. Uh, but today, yeah, I just feel like muscles were not very strong. Second workout a bit depleted so yeah um, it's all right it's fine I almost feel like I tweaked like pulled my fucking hamstring muscle it's all good um, but yeah uh, that was the day pretty much um, had a good workout hung out with Elijah fucking talked with him joked around um, Shout out Elijah though, he's taken a lot of my photos. I don't know if you guys have seen it on Instagram. A lot of good photos recently. And I wouldn't have filmed that workout if he wasn't there. Um, I'm still working on taking the tripod to public gyms. I still gotta beat that. One of my fears, um, I guess. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow uh, I'm probably gonna do the carne asada again with probably onion and tomato with some hot sauce. That's just what I've really been enjoying as of late um i'm super excited to get back into it like i'm i'm happy you know i'm finally getting back into youtube it's well due with the transition you know, the full transition to youtube for good um and being consistent on that and uh kind of just saying dropping not fully dropping tiktok but again i'm just past it i've been doing it for too fucking long um yeah what else um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. 
had a protein shake. I had a 70 gram protein shake. So I've had actually three meals today. I usually have two. I had three and then I had an apple, uh, strawberries, a banana, uh, pre-workout, with some pineapple pre-workout. Fruit, guys, is so underrated. Sure, it's not gonna help with building muscle. It might not help a whole lot with glycogen, refilling your glycogen storages, um, but guys, underrated. It's meant to be eaten. There's a reason why fruit is so sweet. It's meant for us to eat. There's a lot of fiber, a lot of water, and if you're gonna eat anything that has sugar in it, fruit is gonna be your best option. Um, I love it. I, it's really been helping me with my cut as of late. But my hunger lately, goddamn, it's been getting, it's been increasing. I don't know if it's because I'm getting a bit deeper into it or I've been, because I've been increasing my carbs or maybe the fact that I had two workouts today and I'm pushing it. Maybe the, the cycle's kicking in, you know, I don't know. Um, but the hunger is definitely starting to kick in more. So I got to watch out for that. Um, I could eat like a fucking champion. I, this weekend, I'm going to have a cheat. I don't know what it was last week. It was pancakes. I had three pancakes, fucking boatload of syrup, peanut butter, banana, butter, milk. Uh, I think, I don't know what the hell this one's going to be. Usually it's like sushi, but we'll see. yeah um i hope you guys like the video if you guys made it this far you know that's some good shit um many of you probably won't but if you have i give you props and if you're watching this this is your time to stop slacking you know the time is now to make shit happen if you've been laying, letting shit off or just saying you know i'm not good enough or i don't want to do this i don't feel like this or i don't feel like posting or you know, there's no point, blah, blah, blah. Don't listen to that bullshit. Don't listen to that self-defeating mindset like me. I'm getting my ass into gear. I'm starting this YouTube video. I'm gonna continue posting these YouTube videos. So, you know, time is money, okay? We don't have all the time in the world. All right, that's one thing um, that you cannot get back. You cannot buy time, okay? So just remember that, that this shit, you know, make it count. Make it fucking count. If you've been slacking and you're watching this, it's time to stop fucking doing that and get it together. You know, that's essentially what the point of this, making this, getting back into YouTube for me is just to get my ass in the gear, you know? So, um, yeah, um, that's about it. Nonetheless, I appreciate you guys for watching keeping tuned and if you have any things you want to see like any other videos or content ideas or advices whatever just leave it in the comments um yeah it's gonna be a good year this year i'm gonna make it count and i know you will as well until next time